Hey Foresters, we're back in the uh, Food Forest kitchen and uh, we're going to be making a little dish here. Um, this is a recipe given to me by one of my customers, Miss Assad. Uh, she's from the West Indies, Guyana. She told me how to make uh, curry chicken and she actually mixed up the powder, the dry ingredients for me. Now this is one tablespoon of curry powder, one tablespoon, I got to read my cheat sheet here, of gara mas masaka, um, mas no, gara masella. Masella, mas masella, gira, and coriander powder. I wrote it down my cheat sheet. We'll put it in the description below. <laughs> yeah. Now this curry powder isn't a real super spicy curry powder. She uses what she's told me. Um, so we're going to start off with a hot pan, a little olive oil. Some finely chopped onion. And Miss Assad, the uh, persimmon you gave me was delicious. And the cookie, one of the cookies, just one did make it back to Amy. What you adding? A little bit of garlic powder. Unfortunately, I don't have fresh garlic right now. You add that to it and then do the powder, a little bit of curry leaf, and a can of tomato paste. Now I'm supposed to turn this down real low. And mix it all together. This is really thin. I think I'm going to add a little chicken stock. Now... This is store-bought chicken stock. We are actually cooking our bones down, making our own chicken stock. We'll show that in another video. Yeah, we'll put that in another video. But... Cooking Not yet. I'm about to go over and plug it in and get it going. I wanted to get this started first. Maybe just a little bit more stuff. Because I couldn't remember if she said to use tomato sauce or tomato paste. I was, I thought she said tomato paste, but it's really super thick. Might have been tomato sauce. Yeah, I think you might be right. A lot of times I am. <laughs> <laughs> good yeah it does it smells a whole lot better than that canned curry stuff we got that one time remember 
Yeah, well, we were trying. <clears throat> yeah, this was store-bought canned curry sauce that was already put together. Scrape off your spoon a little bit. You still got a bunch on the spoon. There you go. It smells really good. I actually want to lick the spoon. <laughs> it looks good. What else you got cooking here? What's well, we got green beans. Mm -hmm. These are our Asian yard long green beans from our garden. Yeah, from this past summer's garden. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know that one. One of the other ingredients, I'm not sure if I mentioned, is uh, curry leaf. We take this off of our curry tree, curry leaf tree, and I just chopped it up and added it to the, uh, to the curry paste. And this has been cooking here for a while now. Thinking the the flavors have blended together pretty good. Take a taste. Mm. What does it taste like? A little bit like chili almost. But is not it, quite. Is it's it spicy? Like spicy hot or? No, I mean, there's a little spice to it, but it's not really super hot. Okay. So I think even mom would be able to eat it with no problem. Yeah. All right. Now, for the chicken. Mm -hmm. What'd you do to it? This is our boneless chicken thighs that I, from the chickens that we processed. Nice. I deboned the thighs, and then uh, after we thawed them out for this, I chopped them up and we're just going to dump that right in here with the curry. And I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit, add some stock. I'll be happy when our own st our our stock is done. Mm -hmm. I don't really particularly like using store bought chicken stock, but well, this is the first year we've been able to process our own chickens and be able to store enough of enough it. of it and actually have it. It's just one one more thing that we can do on the homestead now. Yeah. I mean, processing our own meat is a huge step. And we're going to apologize for Earl, because I know you guys can probably hear him in the background. Add that's some more stock to this. That's Grandma D's bird. He's a talker and a whistler. Yep. Maybe we ought to do a video on that later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get this simmer in here. And uh, we'll get back to this once it's simmering. And uh, we'll show you what we got. He's letting it simmer. Still cooking away. All right, guys. Um, the curry has been simmering for about a half hour. It's looking pretty good. The flavors are really coming together nicely. The chicken is done. 
still nice and tender, not overcooked so it's not dry. Mm. Full of flavor. This is good. I think this should, this is probably going to be a hit with the family. Um, we'll make our plates and we'll do a taste test. See y'all in just a bit. All right, um, we're about ready to do our taste test of the curry, see how it comes out. I already tasted the sauce and uh, it's pretty tasty. So we're wanting to see my mom's reaction to it and see what she thinks. <laughs> Hi. We're, we're gonna, we want an honest reaction whether you like it or not. Not fond of it. Really? <laughs> Let me taste it again. Taste, yeah. Did you eat any chicken with it? I'm very picky when it comes to spices. It tastes like chili. A little bit of a hint of chili with it to mm -hmm. me. It does taste a lot like chili, but it's kind of hot in the mouth, spicy hot. You really? think it's spicy? Oh, see, I don't taste any hot I didn't spice. Feel it. I mean, there's a Here. little, there's a little spice to it. Try you. See, my mouth's still hot. Well, you're really super sensitive to it. To me, this is delicious. I don't, I almost kind of want to put hot sauce in it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and see, to me, it's not even spicy at all for me. Yeah, but I don't want to mess up the flavor of it because, I mean, this is. This is a unique. I mean, it has. I can eat it. Mm -hmm. It seems like chili a little bit. I mean, it has a little bit of a hint of chili to it, but it's. I think it's really, really good. It'll warm you up tonight since it's supposed to get down in the 40s. <laughs> oh. Oh. Me, me, me and Amy likes it. I'm sorry. It's okay, Ma. Me and Amy likes it. Mom. Not so much. And I put mine on top of my rice. Yeah, I did too. But Did you trade places with me? <laughs> so I can eat your rice. Sure. Put some of the stuff on my rice. You want the rest of this? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to end it on that note. <laughs> There you go. We'll put everything in the uh, description for you and uh, drop us a comment. I was being honest. <laughs> oh, well, that's what we want.